What is up, admission family, YouTube family? Um, this is just a quick video on uh, annotations in GA and their usefulness to you. So I uh, just want to show you, this is Bamboo Earth, um, our skincare brand. Again, one of the benefits, we get to share you lots of data. So happy to open up a GA account and let you peek inside. So I'm looking at month and date for Bamboo Earth. Um, and what I want to do with annotations is I want to be able to denote on my graph here when things happened um, that were major changes that may result in some spike or change in the data. So that as I go back to look months later, I know if there was an email sent or any other big change to the website um, when I start to understand the story. So um, this little drop down right here, you'll see it below most of the graphs um, that you look at inside of GA. So right now I'm in the conversions e-commerce overview section. Hit this little drop down arrow right here and it's going to pull up your annotations. So you can see that Coleman, uh, the brand manager from uh, Bamboo Worth, has added a few. Removed GA integration with Typeform. Since GA tracking in Typeform and GA tracking on site, my double counting SQ sessions. Typeform is direct and no e-com. Moved SMS content and SMS number capture to after email capture and skin quiz. Skin concerns are resumed populating Clavio, so people clicking through the emails are seeing skin concerns relayed on their results page. This was a concern they had about conversion rate. Um, so you can see as he's making changes that he has any reason to believe might make meaningful impact, he's adding them in. So you just create a new annotation, you select the date that you want to apply the annotation, and then you simply type out anything that you want. This could be emails that you send, sales that you're running, updates. Uh, but the more that you do this, the more that you can understand historically what has been going on because it's all, it's really easy to look back and forget. And I'll tell you, it's also great for agency partners to be able to come in and go, oh, all right, what was going on? Oh, look at this. This is a wonderful view. The way that I describe to our people internally is that Google Analytics accounts should read like stories. It's a story of how your business has performed over time. And these annotations are the elements and markers that take this raggedy trend line and just bring context to why things happened, right? So ideally what you would see is anytime that there's big moments or dips, I would want to see an annotation associated with it. Um, Coleman looks like he's using them more for ch structural changes. I also like to see them used around uh, peak moments of sale, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, and here's what we ran as the sale. Here was what was effective, here wasn't. So you can sort of see a history, um, and eventually this annotation library should read literally like a history of the growth of the business, such that you could recount it, um, the moments that were really impactful or things that were really negative on the journey. And this becomes a really effective way to continue to bring your own story to life and make references that you can easily go back to to get the most out of the tool. So hopefully you can make use of some of these. Um, I'd love if any of you have annotations or some of the things that have been really helpful in using them to share either in the comments here on YouTube or for admission members, drop them in Slack and we'd love to, to understand what has been working for you to utilize annotations.